Hi there. We're looking today at uh, another sensor here, a piezo sensor. Uh, piezo, piezo discs, oftentimes used for microphones or buzzers. Inexpensive to get from, you can get them from Maplins and whatever has taken over for Radio Shack in the States. Um, or an electronic online electronic supply shop. You can pull these out of buzzers and such. Um, basically, they they are very sensitive to vibrations, and so that's why they're they use um, they're used as microphones, and they use uh, piezo resistiveness to um, translate that into an analog signal to electricity. All right. So we'll need um, a piezo disc, our Arduino, and a high value resistor I think in this case it's a 1 mega ohm resistor something like something 1 mega ohm and above all right and the circuit's very very simple so what we do is we hook up um, the two ends the two ends of the um, of the piezo to some rail somewhere. So let's pick a rail here. Pick a rail, any rail. Let me grab the red connection and put that into say um, year 23 for example. Okay, that's 23 and then we'll stick the other one over into say 21 okay 23 and 21 okay and then we put the mega ohm resistor between the connections and our Arduino so if I can grab that into one side into 23 and the other side into 21 hopefully So that's in there, 23 and 21. Uh, let's see if I can focus that in slightly better. All right, okay, there's that. Okay, now we're going to hook it to Arduino after the resistor. So take some hookup wire and we're going to go from the red side after the resistor we're going to go to ground. So after the resistor, the red side that's 23, and you're going to pop that into ground, which is my rail 13. Yeah, okay, after resistor. And then another hookup wire, we're going to go from the other side, the black side, after the resistor, and we're going to go into analog 2, really an any analog you want to. But I think I that my demo code is already analog too. So that's a bit hard to see. We have shadows today. That's 10, 0, 11 is 1, and 12 is analog 2. Okay. Analog 2 from the other side. Okay. And then there's my piezo right there. So let's put that there. And I can even maybe just tape that down if I want to. So it's just it's sensing the vibrations. Um, and it's a kind of a knock sensor, so you can knock it or knock things near to it and then get a reading. So, we'll just tape that down. I guess we can tape the, the shiny side down. Okay. Great. Okay, so let's have a look at the code. And it's the same sort of code that we've used for our other analog sensors, the FSR, for example. And we're just going to set up, and I'll, I'll even make it even simpler here. We'll just do a quick analog read. We won't even use variables. Um, and so, um, 9600 
So this is kind of real basic code. And then we'll have a sensor value. And we'll read, it's analog read 2. And then it's pin number 2. And then we'll just print the, print the value out. And a delay so it doesn't get gummed up. All right. <laughs> but maybe for our case, we'll make it slightly longer, maybe maybe 100, just so we can see it, so it doesn't go by too fast. OK, so let's plug in the Arduino. And upload the code. Uh, piezo. And we'll look at the serial monitor. So see if I'm hitting it, you get kind of a high reading 105 there, whoa, 1023. So even if I knock around it, you know, um, you get a bit of a reading. So it's you know, just like a microphone, it's sensitive to the vibrations, even near it. So let me bang on the other on underside of the table. Get a little bit of reading there. So you have a knock sensor. But, you know, you can also t tap directly on it there. Okay. So let's do it at kind of a normal speed, 15. Just see how that works there. So we're probably missing some values, but these will go by awful fast. So you see those numbers rushing by. So you can, you know, you can set a threshold to which to sense and to trigger an event. And I won't do it again this time, but if you look at the FSR tutorial or really any of the other sensor tutorials, uh, this is actually a good one. A piezo is a good one to create like a gate. So it sends just one value and after it drops down below a certain value, it, it sends it. So you can get discrete sort of taps. Okay, well, th those are very useful sensors. Again, inexpensive and easy to hook up. So I hope that's useful to you, and good luck with your piezo sensors.